So we're in the Salop Leisure Stand here at Shrewsbury Town. We've come to check out safe standing, rail seating. These are the first club in England to have it. Obviously, we've checked out the German model and we've come to have a look at this one. Baz, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think it's I think it's really good. It's a little bit smaller than what we saw in Germany, where obviously they operate a ratio of uh, one to two, uh, two people for every seat here. It's one to one, but it's still really. I think it's really effective. I, I think the first thing that I noticed when it came in was all the banners behind us, and is that they've created a, you know, an atmosphere straight away. Okay, there's no one in here, and there's no one, no fans, and they're not. There's no one singing, but straight away, I feel like this is the proper supporters' end, where they're going to get together, they're going to enjoy themselves, and they're going to create an atmosphere. Definitely. I mean, I'm, I went to game at the FA Cup when Everton were there in 2003, and they were standing behind both goals. This is much safer, but this is a fantastic opportunity for other clubs, I think, to look at Shrewsbury's example and say. They can do it, why can't we do it? Anyway, let's go and speak to the man behind this, CEO of the club, Brian Caldwell. Uh, basically, two of the guys from our supporters parliament approached me and asked me if it was something that I would consider um, to be the first club in England and Wales to have safe standing. So, um, obviously I was aware of how successful the Celtic model had been in Scotland, as you can probably tell from my accent. Um, so I knew how, how successful it could be. You look at football nowadays and you see everybody standing at seats, which is unsafe. So what we are doing here is providing them a, an option, a, a, a choice of whether they want to stand safely, which obviously this does, or sit if they want to sit in the seats. It's night and day from what it was before. The number of fans who actually occupy, occupy other areas in the stadium have said to me how much it's actually improved their match day experience and they're not even standing here. So obviously it's always louder for those who are in the safe standing area. You know, despite we've not been great this season, if I'm honest, but we're still running at 70% occupancy in this area. Uh, which is really, really good for us, considering the stadium is under 60% probably. I think you know what we've done is testament to how you can develop something which actually is the club and the fans working so closely together. You know, this was a massive achievement for us, and to be honest, I'm really proud of actually that relationship we've got between the fans and the club, just both being on the same page and both working really closely together. And this is a real safe alternative to what's ever been produced before. It's not the old days of crush barriers and terracing. This is actually a real seat, which is a barrier at the back and a barrier at the front. When we first looked at the, the, the project, I sent my safety officer to Glasgow to see Celtic in operation, and he was bowled over about how safe it was. And obviously, we've now, now that we've installed it ourselves, we've been delighted to see how safe it is. I've stood in it myself for a couple of games this season, for the first game and also the Wolves game in the FA Cup, because I want to be part of that as well. So, and it's, it's a fantastic experience, and everybody really enjoys it, no matter what the result. If there's a good atmosphere, obviously, I think it, it improves everybody's match day experience. All forms of rail seats or seats incorporating barriers, as they're now being called, uh, are much safer to stand behind because you've got a rail in front of you. That's, that's number one. Then the next thing that comes into mind is whether it's got a lock and how deep it is, how much space it takes up on the row. The metal seats, as you can see behind me, and they're in place here at Shrewsbury and at Celtic, and, and fans are quite familiar with, they've got a lock. At the moment, they're, they're allowed in Scotland, they're allowed at the club, like Shrewsbury, which is not governed by the all seater policy, but they're not allowed in stadia that are governed by that policy. Seats without a lock, like the one in front of me and the one next to it, they're allowed now in uh, grounds in this country that are governed by the all seater policy. I mean, there, there, there are clubs um, that I know are looking at it quite closely, you know, for this summer, uh, and I think next summer as well. But the, the sooner they do it, the better, because what price do you put on safety? You know, as long as we have fans standing behind seats that come up to their, to their shin height, there's always that danger, slight and remote as it might be, there's always that danger that someone will fall over and not just graze their knee, but do themselves serious injury. So the sooner we take the precautions to make those areas where fans stand safer, the better. So there you have it, we've come to Shrewsbury Town to look at the rail seating and the safe stand and we've seen how Shrewsbury have done it, they've done it in two different ways with the metal seat and the seat at the front. We've also even seen John Darsh in his prototype latest seat that is ready to go into stadiums today uh, for Premier League clubs and obviously this is really important and really interesting for us as Evertonians where Bramley Mordock is concerned and we want to see this implemented at Bramley Moor, Dr. Rail seat in the safe standing. Um, like I said, we've been to Germany, we've come to Shrewsbury. Let's make sure Everton do it even better than what we've seen so far.